Hey, what is going on guys? Hex competitive back in today with a brand new video and as always down in the title below will be the topic we're talking about today and that is Grey Fool Buster was supposed to be a Dragon Slayer and originally until Hiro Mashima, the creator of Fairy Tail, if you guys don't know, scrap the idea. So this is something I'm just kind of like, wow, I never knew that and maybe I'm way late to the party, which I'm pretty sure I am, but I saw this on like a top like a top 8 facts that you didn't know about Great Fool Buster and I looked around on the web and a lot of people were saying that. And I was just thinking, just think, how would this have changed the story if Grey was a Dragon Slayer? Apparently, I read that he was supposed to, like, earn the power or inherit the power or something like that. Like, he wasn't necessarily just supposed to be born with the power. I'm not sure. But if he was, one thing I, that I'm just, like, thought of, I was like, how would anyone even, like, want to fight them? Like, Fairy Tail would literally be OP. Like, people say Fairy Tail's OP as it is. Now, look at him with Grey Fullbust as a Dragon Slayer. Now, that's really freaking... OP, and I would have loved to see Grace Dragon, like, I can only imagine the Ice Dragon, because I guess there's certain elements that, you know, were on certain sides of the fence, either there was Igneo, or there was the other dragons that wanted to rule the world, and stuff like that, so, I, I mean, we can assume that the Ice Dragons were, like, were, were, they were against humans, so they didn't want them, so they weren't on Igneo's side, um, we can assume that, but, I mean, obviously we don't know, right, but, um, just imagine how that would change the story. First off, you'd have to ask yourself, if Grey were to inherit the power, like I read, and some people said he just, you know, was born with it, but if he were to, you know, on the coin, the side of the coin that said he was supposed to inherit it, how would, would he have uh, inherited it? That, I mean, that's interesting. I mean, if here would, were to uh, thought of the uh, Tartarus arc way back when, you know, in the very beginning, he knew this was going to happen, he inherited the, the, you know, the demon power. Like, he thought it was more appropriate, people said. It'd be more appropriate that uh, he got the demon power rather than Dragon Slayer power. That's what Hiro Mashima's thought process was, I read. And to think of it, if he were to get this power in the Tartarus arc, just like he got the demon power, since he thought the demon power suited him better, which, which would have meant, you know, he would have, you know, that's probably the arc he would have got the Dragon Slayer power, too. I mean, so just think about it, though. If he were to inherit the Dragon Slayer power, it's just kind of like... How would he have got it in Tartarus Arc? I'm really wondering, would there have been a dragon that just kind of said, hey, here you go, and here's your power? I mean, or would have been, you know, would have been replaced with that ice dragon, too, if it was if it was on the side of the coin that said he was just supposed to be a dragon slayer born, it, say, you know, not supposed to be given the power. So, that's just something that's really interesting. It's just kind of a little food for thought thought video i hope i explained that uh side of the coin thing better than what it sounded to me at least um because i because what i meant by that you know really was what if he was supposed to inherit the power instead of the demon slayer ma magic power and what i meant by that was originally he, you know hero said maybe dragon slayer but then he thought you know the demon power will be better you know, so the demon power was given into, you know, to Grey in the Tartarus arc, which would have meant he would have inherited the dragon slaying power in the Tartarus arc better if Hiro Mashima would have went down that route. I just wanted to reiterate that. That's what I meant earlier and what I was talking about on the side of the coin thing. So that's what I meant. I'll see you guys next time. You've been Hex. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at Hex25. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.